So I'm here today with the Walksker L8 Max. This is a 20 watt smart laser and cutter. Um, <clears throat> I like screen. Um, this came pretty much assembled, right? So it just had the styrofoam and stuff inside it and I removed that and then I had to slide the laser onto the rail. That's pretty common. And that was it. Just plug in the cables and stuff, you know, plug in the air pump and USB and power and all that. That was it. Like, why can't all of these be that easy? Just freaking amazing. Something else here, let me show you. So I don't know how well you can see that, but this is for adjusting the height. And a lot of them they'll have like um, a guide or a little piece of aluminum um, and you like stick it under and lower it or raise it. This actually has this little thing here where you just turn it, right? And then you know, Okay, so now I lower this to that on the material and there's my height setting. I thought that was kind of cool. It's kind of hard to turn. Um, here's what a competitor does. You have this little stepped thing and you put that down there and then you lower it and raise it until it hits whatever one then slide the piece out. That's nice, but you can lose that. I like this better. And then some will have like a lever that switches down and then it's plastic and that's just, you know, something mechanical to fail. This feels like it's gonna last a little bit longer. So other than that, um, yeah, some things I don't like right away but aren't a big deal. I wish all these power cables and data cables were like on the side. It would just be nicer if you had like, you know, the air pump and air power over here and then on the right side you had your USB cables or whatever. No big deal though. Um, it does have an offline engrave mode where you would just use the SD card, which is under this. You can see that right there. The TF card, true flash card, whatever. You have your emergency stop, you have your power button, you have an alarm light that'll apparently light up, and then you do have a lockout key, so you can leave this unattended and the kid's not gonna like hurt themselves or burn the house down. It does have a built-in camera. You can see me there, but it has a built-in camera. The camera worked great. This is the easiest one I've had to set up. So I took this and you know, I took the styrofoam out and I did everything else. And then that was five minutes just to get that out and hook the laser up. I connected it to light burn and within, I don't know, a minute it was working. Okay, it actually took more than that. It took like five minutes because I'm a dummy and I <clears throat> was trying to only have the cable connected to the USB-A port, which is for the camera. So it wouldn't see the laser, it would just see the camera. Then I realized, oh, you have to use the USB-C on the front and then run that USB-C to USB-A or USB-C to USB-C to your computer and then Lightburn immediately saw it. Um, mind you, I have set up a lot of lasers. Like right now I see one, two, three. I see four lasers. I just carried one inside and I've gotten rid of a bunch and there's more in the basement. So, oh, I guess there's the big one right behind me too. Um, so, you know, I've got a lot of the drivers and stuff already in there, but this is hands down the easiest one I've had to set up. So now it's on, uh, light burn is pulling it up. So I'll show you. Since I have the lid open, you can actually see me on the camera right now. Do you see that? And then, you know, we can shut the lid and then we'll see the work area in light burn. Let me home the laser. Okay, here's one thing I don't like. You can't home the laser with the lid open because I wanted to get it out of my way and it would not home with the lid open. And see this green down here? I don't know how well you can see that through the amber. Uh, when you have the lid open, that flashes red till you know the lid's open. Pretty cool. It's actually just a white light, and then I imagine it is green when you close it. I don't know how colors work. I wasn't good in art class. Let me slide this in here. And then show you the camera again. And see, now, I know you can't see that very well, but you can see the stuff there on the camera. So yeah, let's go ahead and get a new piece of wood in there, and we'll go ahead and do some tests and show you what that looks like. So let me just show you here. I updated the overlay so the camera is now showing exactly what's in this grid. I had this nice clean piece and I'm gonna do this little scream knife here. And like, isn't that great? It just makes things so easy because you can get the maximum use out of the wood you wanna use. Okay, so here we're just gonna go ahead and do this. Um, right now, 
we're gonna engrave or fill at about 4,800 speed and 75% power. We're gonna cut at 550 and 100% power. That's what I've used previously on other 20 watt lasers. So we're going to see how that works with this. Okay, so let me show you something here if we can see it. Don't know how well we're gonna see through the glare. Oh yeah, you can see it. See how the light is showing you um, like what it's doing and that's pretty cool. I will say this does seem to be a little too strong for the engrave. So I'm gonna back that way down. Um, we're gonna go ahead and stop this one and we'll try it again. Yeah, that was definitely, that's that's burning straight through. So, <laughs> let me, uh, oh, because I didn't set the focal depth, duh. That'll probably help too. Let's see here. Okay. All right, let me move this pattern a little, maybe shrink it down some, and let's give it another go. All right, there we go. Okay, so here's something to point out too. I should have read the manual. That knob I thought was for offline engraving and power, like, Maybe you had to control it there, but as soon as I turned this off, the air assist was off. I turned it on, now the air assist is actually on. I should have realized that because that light I showed you on the laser head actually was red for air assist, and I just, I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. So good to know. Uh, definitely read the manual. <laughs> it's there for a reason. I just, I kind of like to fly by the seat of my pants and figure these things out. Because if I make the mistake and then learn, I'm gonna be in a lot better shape. Yeah. So very deep cut, very nice. Um, I do need to play with the power a little for this material on this laser. You know, otherwise it came out pretty good. Um, just dial in the power a little and this laser works great. Again, that's, that's gonna be with every material you do. You just gotta figure out the settings. Um, I will say this is 400 millimeters squared. It's got the camera. It's got all the features I showed you. I love it. Let me put some cardboard in here real quick. See how my cardboard setting works. Oh, one other thing I wanna show you real quick that I like. See these brackets? They're there and there's ones here. They're to stop the honeycomb. So you push the honeycomb into place. So it's exactly where it's supposed to be. Um, I love that. I love that so much. Okay, so I have some cardboard in here and I'm gonna try this real fast. So my power wasn't quite strong enough to cut through. Um, I, that's my fault, I didn't make sure the cardboard first. So let's go ahead and try that again real fast and then I'll show you the results after I change the power and speed a bit. All right, here we go, it's just about done. And let me bring the camera up a little. See, we cut straight through and you've got the nice bear there. So you have that nice bear. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. Um, pretty much the sky's the limit. Any, anything a normal diode laser will do, this will do. Let me show you a, a little bit better look at this bear. So you got nice clean cuts. It looks pretty good. And yeah. Uh, you can make stencils with cardboard. You could make little things like this for a kid's crafts or whatever. Um, I like to use cardboard to prototype stuff, but yeah. Whatever you think 
of you can probably do. So this has been the Waxer Wazker L8 uh, 20 watt smart laser engraver and cutter. Again, it comes with a honeycomb. It's got the protective case. It was all assembled except for sliding the laser on the rail, which is literally sliding it on the rail and putting on the little lever fastener, which is built into the laser. So it latched right on. Then you just plug it in. Um, Lightburn loved it. They have their own software. I prefer Lightburn, so I just use that. It's got the air assist. It's got everything. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you've got one of these or if you're interested in this and what you like to do with your lasers. And I will see you in the next video.